Hey, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your CSV, create a custom field to bring in custom data, and also how to add a time zone to a contact. A couple things to go over before we jump into that. First things first, you need to have an admin role within the account to have the import and export feature. The import file needs to be a CSV format. You can only have one tab per CSV. Uh, it can be no bigger than 50 megabytes. The first row, as you can see, should not be blank. And if you are importing time zones, please reference the troubleshooting doc. You'll see there is a list of support time zones. So since I'm here, I'm just going to kick it off from here. Let's just say this is the time zone I want to add to my specific contact. So Pepito's contact time zone is Pacific Midway. So we want to make sure we follow suit with this in order for it to register. So please reference this guide. There'll be a link in the bottom. Um, first things first here. These fields are default fields. They're given in the system. And what I mean by that is if you were to go to a contact and look at a contact, you can see first name, last name, email address, phone number, uh, date of birth. All these are given. These are default fields in the system, business name, street address. If you label your spreadsheet headers, you call them headers here, with the corresponding names or the corresponding fields, it'll automatically map that data when you're importing it into the CRM. Oh, wow. For custom wow. fields, yeah, well, yeah. in this event, invoice number is not a default field in the system. You would have to create that. So what you would need to do, oh, I actually did this here, see. here, is come into custom yeah, fields maybe and select numerical. In this case, we want to use numerical because we're using numbers. But I just want to quickly highlight a couple of these. So text and large text are your most flexible fields. They can accept alphanumeric uh, integers, so like numbers and letters. And numericals only going to accept numbers. Yeah. Uh, phone numbers only accept phone number fields, monetaries, dollar amounts, or the amount specified in your account, checkbox, single options, and so forth. So the only catch here is radio buttons. Radio buttons you need to are case sensitive and spelling sensitive. So if you create a radio button in this example and I say yes, like this, the spelling would need to be exact on this field. So if I select radio and it's a yes or no question the spelling needs to be yes so if i place yes here and i put for example this is it right here and i go yes this will not import correctly it needs to follow the exact format and spelling so just food for thought there with radio buttons so um let me continue here what i've done here is set up an invoice number and i use the numerical field so if i go in here numerical invoice number and you add that there so boom that's how you set up a numerical field and as you can see right here, it's invoice number, so we're good to go. Um, one thing of note, the system ties data to emails and phone numbers. So you would need to have at least an email or and or phone number for each contact. In the event you don't have a phone number and email for each contact, please check the guide below when importing contacts without these, these data fields. So once you're happy with your CSV, you set up the custom fields that you need, According to your data, what you want to do is head over to file and you want to export as, where is it? Download as CSV right here. That's it. That is how you set up your CSV. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Thanks.